And this is Imara on Our Mother's Way. We're out here in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. It's a beautiful day, kind of overcast and cloudy, but we're loving it. And um, today I was coming to you because I've been wanting to kind of put more content on the the YouTube the YouTube channel and it's just been a while I haven't been really that um, inspired but today I was just thinking about some things that we could talk about that um, were on my mind and 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 I found myself back here at the sea which is a really important part of um, how I go through my healing process as a woman uh, so as you know natural bodies of water such as the ocean and the rivers and the, all of the bodies of water provide us with um, specific what they call negative ions but a, a kind of a certain energy that um, assists you and calms you you know and kind of just supports your health and your equilibrium and so it's really important that we find ourselves at these natural bodies of water you know as much as we can I tell women that I work with that as much as they can go to the sea go to the river go to the waterfalls go somewhere where you can connect with nature in that way a lot of times as women we um, allow things to kind of solidify and calcify particularly in our womb spaces and so since this channel a lot of what we talk about has to do with womb healing and repair and recovery um, you know one of our major tools that we have as women is is the water the water is going to dissolve, it is going to soften, it's going to, to nourish. This is what water does. And so when we're able to connect in nature with the waters of nature, with the element of water, um, it is a very softening and um, just a, a major relief. You know, you can feel, you can feel everything come off, you can feel your aura be cleared and cleansed from the water. You can feel everything just return back to a state of, 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 of a fresh state, a revitalized state when you interact with the water in, a, in a, a very intimate way. So out here I find one of the things I learned from just watching the locals here on the Virgin Islands is how when they get in the water they go and they sit in it. So it's just like doing a salt bath. If you're at the ocean you want to go and you want to sit for a while. So it's not necessarily what children tend to do which is the back and forth in and out of the water but the actual soaking in the water to allow your joints to relax and, and, and toxins to be removed from the body and allow that sea salt to do what it does, you know, to pull, to pull the things out of us that are, don't belong, that shouldn't be there, um, that are impeding us and, and constricting us. And so, oh, look at it. <laughs> so this is, you can hear the midnight band in the background. This is where they're from. Um, here on St. Croix, so you can hear Midnight Train in the background. That's just somebody playing music from a sound. And then this is where I am at. I just had to show you this because it's so relaxing to just, even just to look at the water. It's just a huge healing and relaxing activity. But yeah, so... My suggestion is, you know, if you have water near you, don't look at it as just something to just to stare at or to admire as you pass. But if it's something that you can get in and cleanse yourself, if it's the ocean, if it's a clean body of water that you can purify within, go and get in that water. If you can't get in that water, you know, sea salt baths and, 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 and soaking in salt water. Some people like Epsom salt, um, you know, making herbal teas and adding them to your bath water flowers putting aromatherapy essential oils in your water but really really try to connect with as much of the water element as you can especially as a woman because you know a lot of times we find ourselves um carrying a lot carrying a lot on our shoulders carrying a lot in our in our spirits in our wounds um, because we're so strong and everybody views us as so strong but at the same time even as being strong these things you know carrying all of that baggage and that luggage and that energetic um, weight over time is, is, is destructive to us it's deleterious to us so you know that's not something that we want to be engaged in we want to be releasing letting go 
flowing, flowing like the water, taking her example, you know. And so in, in the Ifa tradition, we speak about um, Ifa, uh, Yemoja and, and Olokun and the different energies that are associated, the Orisha, that are associated with the bodies of water, uh, particularly in that case, the ocean. And then we have Oshun for the rivers. So, you know, getting acquainted and um, accustomed and, and gaining an understanding through a lot of the stories and patakis and the things that are from traditional cultures, um, we can get more of a, an understanding of how we relate to the element of water and how um, she can be of assistance to us, you know, in terms of our healing processes. A lot of us, we get so kind of um, land-based in a certain type of way. We might go to the mountains, might go, you know, and just be completely earth-based. But, you know, we are beings that are of the water, we are of the earth, we are, we are all the elements, really. The fire, the air, we're all of that. You know, we have to have balance in our lives. We can't just focus on one aspect of life. And so, this is um, the lesson of the water. Mm -hmm. So, if you get the chance... Go to the water. Peace, y'all. We'll be back with some more content here soon.